let's continue our discussion last class i asked this question to you a dc to ac converter do you know write something i in last class many students have written is somebody want to write again or a different answer they can type you have one minute time let me see what you type a dc to ac converter inverter is correct okay any other which you have already studied in your lower semester uh, definition may not be 100% uh, perfect but we can call like that also uh, inverter i think uh, everybody is telling uh, inverter very good <coughs> i'll wait for another 20 seconds so that somebody can give different answers constant phase shift rohit shait is telling akshay is telling inverter sir uh, pooja patil is telling inverter okay majority are telling the same thing and uh, any any circuit has read where you'll get oscillations or uh, ac ac means uh, some sine wave you are getting any circuit you have studied where you'll get a sine wave without giving a input use your brain all of you know the answer inverter other than that uh, you have studied in the third semester where you will not give anything input but you will get a sine wave any such circuit are you remembering what you have studied in your third semester try to recall some signals you will get a sine wave signal you will get from the circuit and input will not give a sine wave will give a dc voltage can you tell what is that everybody know the answer i want any one of you type in the chat box where you will get uh, oscillations and uh, input you are not giving any sine wave or anything anybody is getting everybody know the answer each and every student you type it it may be wrong also rajat raiker has given the perfect answer rajat thank you never hesitate it may go wrong no problem because this is a time for you people to learn and discuss now only if you hesitate to do that then it will become dangerous so rc phase shift oscillator vinay kumar is telling <coughs> very good always you should uh, go through a uh, videos what you have uploaded in the youtube it will become a revision and it will become very easy to understand shreya umrani very good shreya always i see your name happy to see always your name now let me go to the next whatever you people have told the same thing we are going to discuss in the today's class all of you know the oscillator means what what are the conditions should be satisfied to get the oscillations all theory has studied now the only the difference what we are going to discuss in this particular chapter is instead of what you have studied a transistor you have used as a uh, part of a oscillator instead of a transistor now we are going to use what can you tell b with me what we are going to use this is subject related to what that only we are going to use instead of transistor what we are going to use in oscillator instead of transistor very good anusha totashri rakshita shreya we are going to use a uh, op amp i think uh, everybody is telling now preeti thank you now we are going to talk about a uh, phase shift oscillator <coughs> another one we have a uh, wave bridge oscillator followed by we have some other square wave and triangular wave generators uh, today we'll try to discuss a phase shift oscillator and wave bridge oscillator and uh, before going to that uh, phase shift oscillator we'll spend a little time to revise about oscillators as you have already studied about the oscillator uh, this is a video is already available in the youtube this is the same slides i'm using a little modification i may use in the class compared to the Uh, I have made two parts: oscillator part one, oscillator part two. Oscillator part one, I am discussing the basics. Oscillator part two, I am discussing uh, our uh, wind bridge oscillator and other oscillator. This is about uh, part one. What I have, I have already uploaded in the YouTube. These are the things. <coughs> Give me a second. Okay, these are the things. Oscillation. oscillations 
which you have studied <coughs> sorry already over damped oscillations under damped oscillations sustained oscillations you have studied conditions for oscillations frequency stability audio range use of oscillators oscillator basics these are not in the syllabus but uh, one should know even though you already know it will become a revision then we will go to the phase shift oscillator then we will go to the wind ridge oscillator now try to recall <clears throat> what is the over damped under damped sustained oscillations somebody can type in the chat box let us have an interaction maybe wrong or right whatever you know just type it bol do whatever you know uh, over damped means what under damped means what a sustained oscillation means what anyone uh, anybody some students can type we will have a discussion on that <clears throat> Uh, very good kirti unity gain <coughs> is uh, less than one under damped uh, you mean to say a loop gain is less than one it is under damped thank you kirti but again happy to see whatever you were you typed the answer let me wait for other few students i am sure other students will also type uh, i'm waiting for the others answers a uh, totashri has typed over damped is a uh, loop gain becomes greater than very good totashri thank you Shreya, Petikoni, gain is greater than one over damped. Uh, instead of saying gain, uh, Shreya, you can say loop gain. Okay, whatever you have told is correct. Thank you, Shreya. Anybody else? And uh, let me wait for other few students to type their answers. Somebody can say sustained oscillations. Do you have told? Under damped. Amplitude gradually decreases to zero, sir. Vinay Kumar, perfectly, you have told answer. Correct. Like that, I want you people to think and give the answer. So, thinking process is very important. Always, I expected to tell something. Loop gain is between zero and one. Is sustained oscillation, sir. Uh, Ashish Kulkarni is telling loop gain equal to one sustained. Yeah, Ashish Kulkarni has told perfectly. Always, your thinking is correct. Remember, when it is one, it is a sustained oscillation. We have three condition: greater than one, less than one. Usha has typed both. Greater than one, what will happen? Less than one, what will happen? She has explained both. Sustained oscillations <coughs> is obtained observed when uh, Bakasan's criteria is fulfilled. I think uh, Shri Harsha is telling that, <coughs> and uh, Anusha is telling. A B equal to one, sir. Yes, uh, Basava is telling loop gain less than one, sir. Under dam. All of you giving the answer. Very good to see Rakshit Karn, Rakshita and Kirti Badigir loop gain equal to one sustain. Very good. Uh, few names I am not getting. Only the same names are coming. Fifty three students are there. Uh, new names should come. Uh, Manchinath, Dutimani is telling Akshay, Guru, Ved, uh, Akshay I think Akshay G, Namita Hiremat, Vinay Kumar, Sumati name is not there. Aditi is not there. Some names are not at all coming. Shreya Padukone, very good. Now let me go to the Pooja Patil. Thank you, Pooja. Let me go to the slide. Oscillator. All of you know. Nishchal Shetty, Sneha. Thank you. Oscillator is a circuit that changes DC energy from a power supply to the AC energy. Aditi is typing variations in the float as well as a change to its DC power supply for a frequency stability. Now remember, basically I am giving only the DC input to the oscillator, nothing else. I will get an AC output. Remember, I can say this converts a DC to AC. I am giving only the input as a DC, nothing else. An amplifier provided with a positive feedback becomes an oscillator. Remember, a positive feedback is a must for an oscillator. It produces an output signal even though there is no external input. Conditions for oscillations, all of you are remembering, just now you are told AB should be equal to 1 and phase shift equal to 0. I think Umakanth is typing. Let me go to the next. Hope all of you know this. <coughs> the same question just now I asked. Over damped oscillations, under damped oscillations, sustained oscillations. And uh, I asked you people, advanced, type your answer in the chat box. Most of the students, they have typed their answer. Nichal Shetty has typed. And uh, everybody has typed their answers. And all the answers are 
correct so this is the way how you can recall and uh, remember let us go to the whatever the answer you are told the same thing is there let me show those answers to you people so this is a under damped somebody told under damped sir so ab is less than 1 it is under damped so automatically amplitude will start reducing and it will become a zero and uh, other students they are told sustained oscillation will get sir when ab equal to 1 correct and uh, some students they are told over damped will get sir when the ab becomes greater than 1 let me ask you one simple question here everybody know the answer here amplitude goes on increasing now why it is not increasing they made it as a here like a square wave what is it wrong here something is wrong should i write increasing continuously or is it right i want somebody to uh, write the answer in the chat box take a minute hope all of you are understanding after some voltage increases it reaches the saturation above that it will not increase if it above that if it is increasing then clipping will occur the waveform looks like a square wave most of you told the answer and usha rajat and uh, ashish are typing their answer thank you let us go to the next all these things are not of a part of my lic but still i am revising so that uh, whatever you are uh, studied those can be uh, recalled now the two conditions to get the sustained oscillations uh, some of the students they typed in the chat box already uh, Berkson's uh, criteria one is uh, total phase shift around the feedback or uh, all of you told loop gain should be equal to uh, greater than or equal to one and uh, this phase shift should be zero or you can say 360 these are the two condition for any oscillations to occur <coughs> the different types of oscillators are there so we can uh, classify them based on the components used as rc oscillator lc oscillator crystal oscillator the name itself give the idea when i say rc oscillator rc component i use lc oscillator i use a lc component crystal oscillator i use a crystal and audio frequency radio frequency based on the frequency i can classify and based on the waveform also i can classify sinusoidal square wave triangular sawtooth based on the waveform also i can classify so this is the way how we can classify the oscillators now these are the basics just we are discussing and uh, another word <coughs> frequency stability is so one word everyone should know you have studied already just i am revising frequency stability can be reg regarded as a absence of frequency drift now let me know who will tell uh, one or two lines about a frequency drift if there is a frequency drift what is the problem why there should not be a frequency drift with example you can tell a little bit one or two lines or even uh, two words is enough i can make out what you want to say take a minute frequency drift a stability is very important in the oscillators we expect uh, high stability and even you can go back and talk <laughs> do you prefer rc lc crystal among these three which one you be feel better oscillator and why the question i am repeating rc oscillator lc crystal which is better why you prefer that and the same question i am asking why in the next slide also think and uh, type your answer most of the students they are uh, telling crystal oscillator is more stable sir compared to other oscillators very good manjunath dodmani is typing uh, gradual changes in the frequency is nothing but a frequency drift very good manjunath thank you very much for your answer gradual change in the frequency of an oscillator is a drift sir i think uh, diksha datnal is telling and crystal oscillator is most stable sir rakshita kulkarni is telling and uh, most of the answers are correct now a frequency drift is nothing but a change in the frequency for example if a designed frequency say am broadcasting station or fm broadcasting station is there 103 megahertz something you are having if that megahertz itself is changing carrier frequency itself is start changing it is the most dangerous the receiver will not receive properly that's a 
importance of the frequency stability and uh, even the temperature changes anything changes so frequency should not change we expect uh, stability if i design for 103 megahertz the carrier should remain 103 after some time it should not become 1.3 point something or 102.9 something that will create a lot of headache so total series typing uh, greater is a frequency stability so crystal oscillator is better compared to other thank you let me go to the next a frequency drift may be due to the temperature many students they told and DC supply variation and temperature variation even to, with respect to time also RC is used for audio frequency LC is used for a higher frequency and uh, can you type uh, audio frequency range in the chat box hope most of you know the audio frequency range I'm sure all of you will uh, type the audio range in the chat box okay Preeti has typed very good Preeti 20 to 20 kilohertz uh, 20 to 20 kilohertz Anusha Abhinandan Appannavar and uh, Pooja M. Patil Rajat Vinay Aditi Riti Shreya Prakshita Namita Sita Anusha Ashish Kirti Pavan Diksha Ganashri okay it's correct now let me know anybody has heard a uh, 20 kilohertz anybody has heard 20 kilohertz basava correct amuk muttu ulvesh anybody has heard 20 kilohertz what you have read is correct what is the frequency you have heard or you are hearing anybody has done the experiment parvati usha 20 to 20 kilohertz you have read in the textbook because some author has told you people are uh, believing that author. Have you tested in the lab anybody? Okay, you have not tested. If somebody has tested, if they have uploaded a video, why can't you see that video at least? So that instead of going to the lab and conducting the experiment, somebody has taken a pain to do that. How much time it will take to see that? What is the maximum frequency you can hear? Okay, let me ta ask you. I am talking now. What is the maximum frequency? Approximately, not exactly. My frequency only. Your frequency, approximately. Uh, some human being is talking. What is the maximum frequency? Yeah. Let me. Muttu Sunagar. 5 kilohertz. Very good. Answers are coming. Very good. 5 kilohertz. Very good. Most of the students, they are writing 5 kilohertz. See, remember, don't say always uh, 20 I can hear, sir. Remember, what I am talking is always less than 5 kilohertz. And uh, video I uploaded in the YouTube. Audio range, is it 20 to 20 kilohertz? Can I hear 20 kilohertz also? I wanted to check. Personally, I wanted to learn. And uh, I did the experiment. I took a speaker, I took a signal generator, I conducted this experiment and this I uploaded in the YouTube. You people can check it. And is the audio range is the same for the dog also? And cow, horse, rabbit, bat, etc. Somebody can say something about that. If somebody is very good, I'll give the time, you people can even discuss also. Toto Sri has told, no Abhinandan. Usha, Sita, Rohit, Naina, Unkar, No, Muttu, correct, No is correct. Can you say uh, some range for something? Or it is less than human being, sir. It is more than human being for something. Maybe cow or a elephant, something like that. No is correct. Divya, Manjunyatha, Rakshita, Rajat, Ritin, all are correct. Puja, Siddharth. Cats can hear up to 64 kilohertz. Basava is typing. So nice, Basava. Thank you. With the right or wrong, something you have to do. Always something is better than nothing. Less than human beings, sir. Preeti is telling for what? I don't know. Elephant or cat or dog. Dogs more than humans. It is perfectly correct winning. 
and Shreya Patikoni is typing. Elephant is uh, 14 to 16 kilohertz. Rakshita is typing. Bats 200 kilohertz. Okay, very good. Uh, 50 kilohertz uh, minimum for dogs, sir. Okay. Namita is telling uh, cow 23 to 35 kilohertz. Very good. Some answers are coming. I'm very happy to see different uh, answers from all the students. And uh, let me go to the next slide with the answers are there. And uh, you can observe. <coughs> yeah. For elephant, no need to mug up or remember. Just for a... Uh, Information you should know. Elephant 16 to 12 kilohertz. Human being 20 to 20 kilohertz. Cow 23 to 35 kilohertz. Horse 35 to 55 to 30. Mean important is okay. Dogs can hear more. Uh, 45 kilohertz. And rabbit 42 kilohertz. And uh, bat, which is very interesting. Sometimes I have spent hours together on this. I'm not interested in bat. Huh? It doesn't mean I love bats. No. Uh, sometimes uh, to look these images also it irritates to me but you think about a bad frequency 2 kilohertz to 110 kilohertz and uh, whether bats are having uh, eyes will they see through the eyes and they fly or they travel they move whatever you say or what is the logic behind that Aditi is telling no all are telling no but what is the logic behind that the bat is flying or moving from one place to another place? How it will fly without seeing anything? Even though they may be having eyes, but they do not use eyes for checking whether the object is there or not. They never use eyes to see that. Then how they travel, how they move. It uses radiations, Ulovesh, very good Ulovesh, thank you. Yeah, they use uh, uh, radiations and by hearing that uh, noise or that uh, whatever the signal is there, they absorbing sound waves, oh, very good, Usha is telling. They use sonar, okay, some signal they are sending and uh, based on the reflections, yeah, rowing uh, through air, Anybody want to add some additional any lines or words? Because uh, it's a strange, those who are very much interested in spiritual thing also they can think on this. Uh, so those who are interested in technically also they can do something on this. And uh, let me go to the next uh, slide. Bats or you can say echolocator, uh, they s usually we see the, we use the word seeing with the sound. Bats use a sound waves and echoes to determine whether objects are there in space or not. Many people have spent a lot of time to just study this bats. And I heard uh, one nice uh, person who was uh, talking, uh, uh, I think from ISCOM. He, he's, uh, when he was talking, he wanted to tell a God is there. For that, he has given a very nice example on this bat only. And if uh, more than one bat are there, nearby only, they never collide each other. Even I searched yesterday, a US department had as a separate, uh, <clears throat> lot of information has been given in this a blog in the government. They have dumped a lot of information related to bats. A lot of images are there, how they fly frequency range and why they cannot uh, touch each other even though in the small room if you keep uh, thousands together bats they never hit each other because of that echoes no it's a strange but it is a true there's a reason somebody was explaining god is existing who has made those frequencies how they can send a different frequency each frequency is uh, all frequencies are not same for from all, for all the bats otherwise they could have got a different signal. Some bat is sending, another bat is receiving means it is dangerous. So he told a God is existing. Somebody is there to plan properly. So that is the reason earth is moving, sun is there. Around that only particular radius it is rotating. Everything is systematic. When systematic is there, something God is there. It depends on your religion, whether Allah is there or somebody, Shiva is there or Jesus is there. 
but some power is there he explained so nicely and uh, what is the frequency uh, do bats use and these are the information somebody can do a very nice seminar on that only you can take a uh, such topics for your seminar instead of copying from your seniors from other college learn something such topics you note down in your notebook at the last page these things so yeah you people can take as a seminar even if you want to give in my class only i will permit all of you those who are interested you can put extra class and you can give the seminar even i want to learn from you people because these are very unique where you have to spend your time we have to understand even you are if you are technically or interested or spiritually or interested you can do this so let me go to the next use of oscillators most of you know just for your reference i am putting laptops tv radio mobile clock of a microcontroller cords communication system entertainment uh, hearing test ear signal stabilization everywhere we use uh, oscillators and wherever the electronic gadgets comes most of the time we use uh, oscillators also wherever remote comes we use oscillator everywhere we need a oscillator this is a list i have given and uh, just glance once so that you can remember in most of the fields we use a uh, oscillators let me go to the next types of oscillators uh, armstrong oscillator crystal oscillator rc phase shift oscillator carpet oscillator cross coupled oscillator electron oscillator opto electric oscillator oscillator wind bridge oscillator many 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 oscillators are there so but in our syllabus we have two one is a rc phase shift oscillator and there is a wind bridge oscillator in our syllabus we are going to discuss two oscillators but uh, most of the fundamental working will be same principles will be same in most of the oscillators carpet i think you might have studied in your uh, third semester in the electronic circuit subject even rc phase shift you might have studied a vein bridge uh, i don't know whether i studied or not but carpet i know rc phase shift i know you have studied in your lower semester and these are the different types of oscillators uh, let me go to the rc phase shift oscillator let us uh, go to the next oscillator basics it is known to you people just it is a revision now amplifier i have a feedback i will take and it is a positive what i am giving so when i give the positive feedback if a loop gain becomes equal to 1 and total phase shift becomes 0 or 360 degree a 180 from amplifier 180 from feedback circuit this acts as a oscillator even though you make v in equal to 0 observe carefully even though you make v in equal to 0 here i am not giving anything but v not is not 0 you will get a signal because this starts behaving as a oscillator because of this positive feedback loop gain is greater than uh, equal to 1 and uh, even the v in is here removed it will start oscillating and uh, for phase shift oscillator i have op amp which will give the 180 degree phase shift rc network i have in the feedback this will give the 180 degree total will become uh, 180 plus 180 it will become 360 degree and loop gain if becomes equal to 1 oscillations will get this is a basic concept for the phase shift oscillator and this you have studied in your uh, lower semester instead of a op amp there you used a transistor the same thing this is nothing but your uh, amplifier and this is nothing but your uh, feedback rc network so this is a phase shift oscillator i have and uh, ideally for one rc you should get a 90 but uh, practically you won't get less than 90 you will get therefore if i use only two i won't get a 180 that's why i are using a three and the amount of phase shift depends upon the value of the rc value and it is given by tan inverse of xy r 
at particular frequency phase shift by the feedback end of becomes 180 degree that frequency only will get oscillations from the rc coupled rc phase shift oscillator just take a equation two equations then we'll continue now let us go to the next op amp internal phase shift is 180 degree RC network provides 180, totally it will become 360 degree. Oscillator frequency F0 equal to 1 by 2 pi root 6 RC or N, N is a 3 in this case. 3 into 2 it will become a 6. Okay. Those are not copied uh, equation, they can copy now also. And this circuit also if you want you can copy. Complete RC phase shift oscillator circuit I will show you. This is very important. This is 1 by 29. This also you note down. There is a reason gain of the amplifier must be 29. Whenever you are conducting the experiment in the lab, many students they say they are not getting the output at all. Reason is for this experiment a gain should be 29. Sometimes a gain will become 10, 12, 13 like that. But uh, you won't get even if the gain is 20 also you won't get the result. If a theory is known to you, automatically will get output. Most of the students they simply blame either teachers or they will blame the system or they will blame the components. How much you are prepared and you should be able to say why you are not getting output. Theory if you know automatically you will be able to say why you are not getting output. Now this is a, a phase shift oscillator. Take a minute. Put down the circuit waveform equation. Uh, op amp internal phase shift is a uh, 180 degree rc phase shift will be 180 and oscillator frequency is 1 by 2 pi root 6 actually root 2 into 3 rc and uh, rc network coordination is 29 hence always we expect again should be 29 copy down let us go to the next a design a rc phase shift oscillator for a frequency 200 hertz copy down the question design the rc phase shift oscillator for f not equal to 200 hertz all of you take c equal to 0.1 all of you can take a C equal to point one so that the answers will be unique. Every day you will get an R equal to same answer. And type your answer in the chat box. And Namita has typed 3.25 kilo ohms. Thank you Namita. We will see others what they are going to type. Totashri what same 3.25 kilo ohm. Very good Totashri. Naina Hiremat, Sita, Divya Murudeshwar, Onka, Vinay Kumar, everybody is getting it through 3.25 or 3.248. Uh, everybody is typing kilo ohm, that is very good. And most of the students they are getting a kilo ohm, uh, 3.2. Preeti Jadav, Usha Hulikashi, Abhinandan, Pannavar. Okay, most of them they are getting a 3.25. 3.248 okay 3.25 five one I think uh, Rakshita she is getting very good uh, let me wait for a few more seconds and let me see the answers from other students Nishchal Shetty 3.25 kilo ohm very good Nishchal Ashish Kulkarni Puja Kalkani one more three Pujas are there Anusha Shreya all are getting a 3.248 or 25 they are getting correct answer uh, Sri Rang Mudhol okay he has typed same answer let me show you the Siddharth has got same answer very good I got 3.25 kilo ohms I got and hope most of the students they got a same answer to avoid a loading R1 will be greater than 10 R we take and this completes our RC phase shift oscillator 
to conclude today's class thanks for attending the class i'll be here for 5 minutes for a discussion